All right, folks, this is uh, this is Martin and uh, Trek Top Fuel 5 2022 uh, in a nice uh, dark, dark gray uh, color. Uh, it looks very, very great. Um, I just bought it um, today and and uh, let me show you what this bike is all about. So it's uh, uh, it's for uh, a type of um, uh, person who is still thinking about using this bike for cross country and uh, take it for um, for a um, trail ride as well. So what it has, it has the Alpha Platinum Aluminium uh, frame um, or track. Um, the fork is the RockShock uh, Recon Silver RL Solo Air Motion Damper Lockout over here. Um, and has a 120 mm travel. A real one is the X Fusion Pro 2, uh, two position damper, uh, 185 to 50 mm. Uh, the front hub is the Bontrager alloy, uh, same for the rear one. So the front one has a 120, 110, pardon, 110 to, to 15 mm uh, through axle. Uh, the real one is the Bontrager alloy, seam, seam bearings, six bolt Shimano micro spline free hub. Oh my god, this is so many things. Uh, boost uh, 148, uh, 12 mm through axle. Then what we have uh, here as a tires is the Bontrager XR4 team issue 2 blessed ready. Oh my god, so uh, 29. 29, 29 inch 2.4 but this one is a 2.6 and I think this is much better actually option if you can then upgrade it so then we have a rip strip rip strip are the Bontrager TLR uh, probably uh, some some sort of uh, basic but uh, works uh, works very well shifter Shimano Deore M6100 12 speed real um, is the real uh, derailleur then the crank is the uh, is the Praxis Cranks 30 T rings 55 millimeters chain line and 170 millimeters length? Bottom bracket is a Shimano SMB B52. Uh, I think you can't go wrong with that one too. Saddle is a Bontrager Arvada steel rails 138 millimeters a bit. Then uh, the seat post is a Trans, Trans XJD. 170 millimeter travel because this one is an extra large uh, frame. Grips Bontrager XR trail compatible nylon locks. These are pretty nice, but if you have a bigger hands, I recommend to swap them to something more thicker. Uh, and uh, what else we have? A stem. Stem is the uh, Bontrager Rhythm Comp, uh, 50 millimeters length. Uh, works pretty good. Uh, then we have a knock block. Uh, 2.0 integrated over here. Let's see how it works. Uh, then brakes Shimano MT200 Hydrox brakes 180 at front, 160 in the back is the uh, is the uh, rotor. Then we have a bag in this compartment for your tools and stuff. Uh, let me just uh, open it for you. So opens like this. Go up, up, then lift it up and. Out. So there's a bag you can you can use for your tools. Uh, maybe store some additional tube if you want to. Although these tires are actually tubeless uh, ready, so I would probably recommend you to convert them into the tubeless. And and what else we have here is uh, is uh, pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. What I do like on this bike is obviously this compartment and also the uh, the the rack on the, for the bottle, which comes uh, as uh, from from the manufacturer. Then also this chain guard, which is pretty pretty handy feature. I reckon then on this Deore 6100 derailleur is there's a clutch you can just uh, you can just pull down like this, um, and then it's uh, blocking or stopping this this chain to slap over. Um, over the place or or hitting uh, hitting the tire, and what I do also like is is the um, is the tires obviously because it works very very well for the condition uh, you can find here in New Zealand around the around the winter time. What I don't like, however, is is this long very very long uh, cable coming from from this lever which is driving the seat post. 
uh, <laughs> it feels like the engineering uh, I don't know what was that but uh, it feels like some like it's probably a little bit over engineered here so I would probably ex you know I would probably go for something shorter if you have if you can so then the knob to to adjust uh, your sensitivity of your fork and uh, what I do like is the cassette so I think for the money it's pretty solid uh, setup so uh, you can't go wrong with that one too otherwise uh, the bike weighed about 12 sorry 15.5 kilograms so it's pretty it's pretty chubby uh, but look um, I think it's still okay uh, for the money uh, you are paying for it uh, I've seen worse <laughs> and this one's probably gonna have a little bit more because of the because of the tires are different um, they are not 2.4 but they are 2.6 um, and and what I would probably need to adjust uh, sometime in the future is the brake uh, brake levers. Uh, they are a little bit too close to my fingers. And uh, other than that, it's pretty solid bike for the money. So let me know what you think, guys. And uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.